Okay guys, we are going to reconstitute a vial of GHKCU, otherwise known as the copper peptide today, and I'm reconstituting a 100 milligram vial. So this is an option if you have this vial at home of how you can reconstitute it and dose it. So I'm using my bacteriostatic water. I have a one ml syringe with an 18 gauge needle. I'll list the gauges here that you can use. Obviously the bigger the gauge, the easier and quicker it's going to be to pull back. Of course, some people only have their insulin syringes at home. It will just take longer, but that's okay. Just make sure you have the accurate amount of water going into your peptide vial. That is the bottom line. <laughs> so for this one, we are using three milliliters of bacteriostatic water for this peptide vial. You'll also notice with the copper peptides, they are going to be this bluish purple color. That is to be expected and normal. Nothing is wrong with your peptides. This is a metal and that is just how they're going to be. So we are always injecting our bacteriostatic water gently into the side wall of our peptide, um, not slamming it directly into the powder. You want to maintain the integrity and the purity of your peptides. And if they are slammed with water, dropped, shaken vigorously, it can mess with the purity and the potency of your dosing. So always just be delicate when it comes to anything involving your peptides. But before that, while you're just pulling up the water, make sure you don't have any bubbles. You wanna make sure all the bubbles are out so you're getting the exact dosing. Of course, if you are injecting air, that's not water. So you're gonna have less water and an inaccurate dose. And then I'm gonna go over the dosing more at the end of this video, but a vial of 100 milligrams is going to last you about 1.5 to three months, depending on the dosing you use. And the dose the correct dose to get the effects is going to be one to two milligrams per day and then keep in mind also with the copper peptides you are going to be taking these daily for about seven weeks until you start to notice the results like six or seven weeks i'd say you start to actually notice so it's a lot of consistency um to then get that result and you can stay on this peptide for about three months and then go off for three months so you're always cycling your peptides but a good standard of practice is three months on three months off and then another thing to note is that it is going to take a zinc supplement while you're taking a copper peptides. Um, just with the way our body absorbs zinc and copper, you want to be taking these together so everything stays in balance. So take a zinc supplement while you are taking your copper peptide. Um, and then the last thing I would just note is that this injection can sting a little bit. So if you're having that sensitivity after you got your correct dose in your syringe then you can fill it up with a little bit more bacteriostatic water just to dilute it and then it will it won't sting as much so i'm filling the syringe three times with exactly one milliliter each time injecting it slowly into my vial and then once i have all three mls in my vial i'm going to give it a gentle mix always being gentle i'm going to then place this in the refrigerator so it's protected by light and kept cold gonna sit for one hour to fully dissolve so when i'm ready to do my first dose everything is equally dissolved and i'm getting an accurate dose so what your dosing is going to look like for the copper peptide it should be one to two milligrams per day you can take it morning or night does not make a difference and for this reconstitution that is going to look like three to six units I always like to start with a lower dose and work my way up. So you're gonna start with three units and that's gonna look just like this. And then you can work your way up to that six units. But that's it, that's how to reconstitute it. That's how you will dose it, what the dosing will look like. Let me know what questions you have in the comments below and we'll see you at the next one.